My name is Pastor Kevin Mahoney, and I am involved with Family Church Gardens. I had the privilege of being married here at First Baptist Church, West Palm Beach, on May 4th, 1985. And that began my journey in this place where I was exposed to the reality of God's love. And then, sadly, my first son, Kevin, died January 28th, 1986. He was a two-pound baby boy. I held him in my hands at Good Sam Hospital. I looked down at him and I realized my son was not alive. Two years later, I had the same experience where we lost a second son, David Tyler. There was this overwhelming sense of how much more, Lord, can we take on? We've lost two children. And now to learn of a very serious cancer diagnosis almost crushed our spirits. And depression and discouragement became part of our journey. Being hurt like this is real. No one can even diagnose it for you. You can only trust that you will at some point see God do something in this that at certain times, you have no idea what he's trying to accomplish. It was a dream come true for my wife, Ginger. She so longed to become the mother that uh, she had hoped to be, and God answered it with Mary. And I can tell you that her heart was so full of the joy of what it is to hold your baby girl and become the mommy that she had been dreaming about. During the midst of my own lost journey, I needed help. And I did find a program that uh, is now part of our ministry here at Family Church called Grief Share. We brought that program here. I have taught the Grief Share ministry now for over 20 years. And as I thought about the number of people that God has allowed me to work with, the number is in excess of a thousand. And my heart's desire is to help those who are hurting walk through difficult grief, loss, and know that there is hope on the other side. I met my wife, Jonelle, who now uh, in 2024, we have been married for nearly 20 years, and I really have experienced a joy beyond measure in the midst of all of these circumstances of difficulty. One of those great joys is to be Papa to Billy and soon to Luke. And I would just encourage those of you who are working through loss to hold on to God's grace, His glory, His peace, His power, because He has a purpose for you.